it's Ree here from All Data Customer Success. In this video, I'm going to show you how to confirm a prize on behalf of a listener. Uh, if you work in a promotions team or even on air, you will have probably received at least one call to say that a listener is unable to confirm their details, um, and so you may need to do it for them. There is a right and a wrong way to do this, so I'm just going to walk you through what the correct way is and why we do it this way. So I'm just gonna open this up here. I've already got two prizes here that I um, have awarded, both cash prizes so that I can show you how we do this. Now, while we have a wide range of prize statuses that can all be configured to your needs and obviously you can set up your own statuses, if you have your prize status call confirmed, which is one of our default statuses, then simply changing a prize to that status isn't exactly the same as confirming the prize. So um, I'm going to, I've got two prizes here so that I can show you the difference. They're both cash prizes. Um, so what I'm going to do with this one is just change the status to confirmed. Now you'll see that that's a cash prize, which means that there's no bank details in that um, and that that won't be picked up in the system with any bank details because we haven't included any. Um, you'll also notice when I open this, that down here, it will say that it was confirmed by me instead of being confirmed by the listener. So a really good indicator of something has been confirmed by a team member, it's going to have the team member's name instead of the listener's name. Um, so we're going to now go back in and select our second prize. And instead this time, I'm going to do it by the redemption link. Now. We get the redemption link by options and then redemption. You'll notice that this is the redemption link that is um, exactly the same link that is sent to the winner via SMS or email. So this means that Audata asks them to complete every step required to confirm the prize. Um, and so when you enter it this way, it's also going to get you to walk through every step and collect all the details that are needed. So if you jump in and do this while you've got your listener on the phone, it's going to be really, really easy. Um, for example, when we go through, you'll notice that I click yes, that's just our basic details. It's now asking me for bank details. Um, the other thing that may happen is if a campaign has uh, extra custom fields set up specific to that campaign, um, then they will come up as well. So we just want to make sure that by using the redemption link to confirm prizes, we know that we're getting all the details required for that specific prize. Um, and that everything that we need is provided. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the bank account details and that should finish it up, great. So we can close that. So now we have our, this is the prize that we've just confirmed. I'm going to hit refresh and you can see that it's been confirmed and it's been confirmed by Alana, which is great. We're then gonna open this up in the cash payment and you can see here that the payment details or the bank account details, I should say, are in this box. Now I'm going to take you back to our prize page and show you the prize that we did simply by changing the status. So if I go here and I select cash payment, you're gonna notice that this box is empty. That's because by changing the status to confirmed, it hasn't picked up all of those details that we needed and that I talked about via the redemption link. So we want to make sure that when we're doing it um, via the redemption link that we have all the details because now when we go to process this payment, um, this is actually not going to pull any bank details for us. So if you're on automated finance, this is going to get missed and it will take another week to go through generally. Um, if you're on um, non-automated finance and you need to pull those details yourself or your prom promotions team do, uh, they're, going to, they're not going to be able to be pulled. So you're actually going to have to go in and get those bank details again. Um, so you can see the difference there between the two prizes and the complications that that can cause. So we would just like to encourage you, make sure you're doing it this way. It is definitely best practice and it will save a lot of time and headache uh, for you in the future when it comes to managing prizes. Um, if you have any questions at all, just reach out to support at audata.io.